Hello and welcome to The Treasured Page. I'm Melanie and this is our quiet crafting space. And it's that time of week where we're going to have a look at the coffee pot challenge, which is where I pull three items out of the tin, uh, or three cards out of the tin, and we have a look and see what supplies I'm going to use to make my next project, which is just a bit of fun. And usually sometimes I get a little bit... Um, Lacking in inspiration, shall we say, and it just reboots my um, love for the supplies that I already have, rather than wistfully looking at everybody else's and thinking, oh, I could do that, <laughs> if only I had. And uh, so this is exactly what I have got, and that's what you should put in your tin if you would like to do the coffee pot challenge. But if you would like to also do what I'm about to pull out, that's fine. Providing you have the things, if you don't have the things, then don't go and buy them. Go and, uh, well, you can if you want to. I'm not saying you can't. <laughs> um, I'm not telling you to do anything. <laughs> okay, the first one is out. Don't know what it is. Let's have a look. Yes, join in. Join in if you can. And if you can't, make a list of all the things that you have and pull three things of those out of your own out of your own stash right last one coming out oh i don't know what that was okay here we go coffee pot challenge for this week is oh a wild card gesso and a rubber stamp got another wild card well we had a wild card last week so, for those who don't know, a wild card means that I can choose, I can go wild and choose anything from my stash or supplies. Um, so it's a rubber stamp gesso and then whatever the wild card will be, which will be my choice. So I put the wild card to the side and I will think about the gesso and the rubber stamp. So the coffee box challenge. I have put some paper down because I feel this one might be a bit messy. I've got myself a coffee, which is worth doing if you're going to settle into a quiet craft. I've rolled up my sleeves because I just think if I'm going to be using this, which um, I found... <laughs> only put things in your tin that you know where they are because <laughs> otherwise you might lose them right let's have a coffee and have a look at what I've got okie dokie I've got some stamps here from Tim Holtz which are butterflies um, I've got white gesso so that's an acrylic paint it's a chalky finish paint it is a chalk paint it's got chalk within the mixture so it's also known as a liquid paper and it is a textured paste of sorts. It's very th it's thinner than acrylic paint, um, apparently, but uh, it does dry harder. So therefore you can do more with it, make it more lumpy, bumpy. It's a good way to build in texture. And it's also something that I very rarely use. So this is interesting. Um, I've got this envelope, which is an old envelope, and it's got a really interesting closure already. This is how it came, with a slit in it, so that you can seal it like that, and then just put a sticker on it. So I've got some book page here, I've got a book, a very old book. <laughs> it's not that old, it's from the 80s. But it's been sitting on a windowsill in somebody's room, and it's been well read, and it is now, the sun has dried up the glue, so when you open it up and you start doing that, the pages are popping out. Gaps, hang on. Let's have a look. That's a better one. There you are. Let's just have the whole section, and then we've got a few to go with for other projects as well. I'm always looking for it. Mm. Right, so I've got that, I've got this, I've got this. Okay, I'm going to want something to put the gesso on with. I might want glues. I don't know what the wild card is yet, but I've got gesso and rubber stamps. So I'll put those off to one side. I'm just going to focus on making making a start. Just rip some page here. Something like that. 
and then just just get gluing. Just want to get rid of the name on the card there, and then on the. I think I might peel that over. Maybe that can come over. Oh yeah, instantly interesting. Yeah, this is interesting. I've got some packaging paper here. Right, just take a bit of this. But sometimes you just get these packaging bits. And this is a Marks and Spencers one, so it's from a nice department store here in the UK. But it's just the quality of the of the, even the wrapping paper, the packaging paper. It's so lovely. That's just lovely. I can see why I kept that. Right, let's just take a bit. I'm now feeling like it's too precious. It's too precious to just stick down gesso over. That's far too precious. Look at me. I'm putting it away as if I'm going to be making something amazing with it, which I will probably. <laughs> okay. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just procrastinating now. So let's just stick a bit more glue down and see where this takes us. And I thought it would be quite nice to do a scrunch with this tissue paper. And I'm just using stick glue. And now I'm putting that over the top of my book page there. Covering it up? Why are you doing that? Ah, oh, very good question. That makes you feel like a proper artist if you do that. <laughs> it makes you feel like you know what you're doing. <laughs> and, um, yes, yeah, so you're layering things <laughs> uh, for the purpose of who knows what. It's just for the purpose of see what happens. Scraps. How can my scraps be so valuable? Here we go, that's another bit. Oh, that's got stamp on it. Am I allowed to use that or have I got to do the stamp? See, that's already been stamped. Which is a time saver, isn't it, really? Should we do it? I mean, I, I make up the rules, don't I? So that I think that's fair. So that was already made with stamps. I don't think that counts. I think I have to use the stamps in the project. Right, I've, I've had enough of that. I'm going to now see what the gesso does for me. I might put that there. Put that there. Pull this out of the bin and uh, use this as a paint palette. Nothing fancy around here, I'm afraid. Blob of gesso. And a paintbrush. And we'll just cover it. Okay, I don't know that I want to cover all of it because I would like to see some book page peeping through, but I don't want the M&S packaging, so I'm covering that up. Let's cover up the brown background. Just lightly cover this as if we've just, or lightly cover everything. That's it. So there we are. That's gesso and um, potentially stamps if I if I'd stamped on it directly.
my while I'm here do the back and there as well Is going to be gold wax paste. I think that's what I want. Yes, and I've got now a little idea to do more gesso with some wax paste mixed in. How about that? So if I take that and sort of just put it there and then just sort of hope for the best with anything here so this is wax and acrylic so what do we know about that that's plastic and wax is that going to work may do if I mix it slowly Who knows? It's quite fun, isn't it? All right. Lightly brush it over. I'm not sure if it's added anything being mixed in. But... We've done it now. It smells like furniture polish, furniture wax. <laughs> Quite like the bits hanging off, so I'm just going to emphasise those. Um, right, let's get a stamp and um, use this. to paint it on. And um just gonna have a go at that as a stamp idea. Put it there. Let's see if I get an impression. Certainly got it covered on putting <laughs> putting it on the stamp. Nope, that did not work. Um, I don't want to waste this, so I'm just going to cover an index card here. Well, that is fun. That's a lovely effect. Isn't it? nice to use that gold in a different way I just use it to accent things which I suppose I'm doing here now but actually to use it as a paint background effect I love that I love it I think I might do another one only because I've got I've got this last bit here and it's scrap isn't it it's waste waste paint I don't want to waste it this one's not going to be so metallic. That last bit there shall definitely be doing more of that. And then we've got this here which is very gold, a little bit left here. Maybe I'll knock some of that down with the gesso and try and do more of a sweeping thing. 
everything here now. It's fun to play, obviously, that's why we're here. <laughs> Coffee afternoon, done all the things, done all the boring stuff, and now we're relaxing. Relaxing. Forgetting about it all, shutting the world out, not worrying about all of the stuff and the things and the, you know, just great. That's what we need to be doing. Managing all the little things in a positive way. Okay. That can go straight in the bin, so that is fine. And then we're left with these lovely cards. Well, I wasn't expecting to do three things. So I need to wash off my brush. So that's that done. Now, how about some stamping? And I'm using the waterproof one because it's partially because it's wet. I get a better coverage um, with the oil-based stamp and um, also just want my acrylic block. That's a bit of a mess, isn't it? Hmm. That is poor stamp hus husbandry. Okay, I've got my acrylic block here and I've realised it's covered in um, ink from the time before. I've got some alcohol here. Just This is just 99.9% .9 alcohol spray. And I'm just going to look after my things like my grandmother taught me. <laughs> and, um, you know, ultimately not worry. But on this occasion, I like to see where I need to put things. And uh, that's how to clean acrylic blocks and your stamps. You don't need to buy the cleany stamp stuff. You just need some alcohol spray, which is arguably cheaper. Right, what do we think? Butterfly here. Oh. Oh, I love that. I thought that was going to come out really dark. And I really like that. Oh, wow. Okay. I wonder why... Look, I thought it was going to do that. But it didn't. It did that. Hang on, let's see. Is that because of the gesso, do you think? Do you think? And I pressed quite hard as well. Oh, that one's darker. Okay. Ooh. Mm. Why did that one come out so pale then? Well, we're just having a bit of fun with the butterfly stamps. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. These are my ones. This is a. Uh, this is something else. This is going to now be a tearing sheet or a fussy cut sheet. Let's have a look. That one's pretty good. That one I like anyway for something different maybe. Yeah, the ghosty second images are really nice. Just because it's got a texture. So we're just having an experiment here. So for this, I'm not sure I even like this butterfly now. Perhaps I want a bigger butterfly. Do I? Perhaps I don't want a butterfly at all. Right, okay, so I've got this. I'm gonna, let's just uh, fussy cut one of these out to see. No, I'm not going to like it. I can see I'm not going to like it. Right, we won't bother with that. But that was interesting because those will be used elsewhere. Let's rip this one. I love it. I love this one. don't know why. I don't know why. Yes, good. Something about it on a, on a totally other separate background. But that, 
is nice. So we'll keep that for something else. Right, focusing on what we're doing. We were fussy cutting this out, but now I'm underwhelmed with the black stamp. That's not what I wanted. I don't know what I want, but it wasn't that. This might work. I'm going to stamp this on using the archival black, um, it's jet black, lightly pressing, oh lovely, that's nice. Good, that one maybe. Just need a nice big stamp, really. Let's see what it looks like on here. No. It's all right. It's just um just all right isn't it it's not going to set your world on fire right let's see if um, a fussy cut bird can come to my rescue here oh yes thank you Roxy creations um, and uh, I've got some other ones here Oh no, that's very pretty, isn't it? Oh lovely, oh lovely, I really like that, that's nice. That makes me feel happy. And I now would like something else here uh, from the stamp, stamps, whether we just want a bit of script in the background, a little bit of script stamp just to see, it's not very, uh, it's too small probably, ugh, too dark, oh no, maybe get away with it. Don't like that guys, so I'm using the gesso just to knock it back because that's what it's designed to do so that's how we got out of that <laughs> that's okay isn't it and now I think if it comes out too dark I can just use the gesso to knock it back so it is sort of now working to use both of those things Ugh, no I don't like that either gosh Let's knock it back and then I can come back with my my gilding paste. So let's leave the stamps. We didn't get on with them. They were they were tricky. Okay, let's just carry on because just because I don't like it now doesn't mean I won't fall in love with it in about three minutes time. So I'll just carry on as if um, you know as if nothing's happened. We'll just dry this. I'll sort of wind this bit on so you don't have to hear all of this. Okay, I'm just going to put my gold back in. And then I'm going to stick down my bird using my all-purpose glue. I'm probably working in a right muddle here, or I know I am. So I apologise if that looks too distracting for you. And just with the applicator tip, that's great because I can get into the little delicate area bits where, like the beak... Coming round here, I've got these legs, and that's easy now with a, a slim applicator there. Just get into all the tricky places. Right. 
as altered envelopes go. That's quite good so far. Oh, I've got all of this on the back. And I have got the butterfly. And that's quite nice. Just that little ghost effect after all. Now it's dried. I don't think we need anything more than that. It's just... It's fine. I think I've done the challenge. So I've done... The stamp, I've done the gesso, I've done the gold paste, I've embellished it with a focal point. Um, I can do what we usually do and put a um, something else there, like a bit of washi tape, perhaps. How about that? That just jumped over here. Um, well, nothing says fancy envelope, like a bit of castor oil. Advert. I will not have that. One. I think I like it, but I think it's lacking something, and it could be just a simple word, just to bring it all together. So let's go with that and see if I've got one. Now, I have been using these quite a lot, and I'm really enjoying them. Um, the small talk. I've had them for ages. I've used them lots, but uh, you know, I've got I've got quite a few things missing here now and I just think gosh it's taken me a long time to go through the book but I really love them and um, I should be cross if, if they're discontinued when I want another pack do you know what I mean and you feel like oh should I stock up before he decides to uh, get rid of them and go with something else but um, you know they're they're not cheap so um, I've got ink everywhere now it's all perspective mm live every day uh do we want white no i don't think i do want white actually oh i've got these ones as well these are big words don't know why i might want those they're just one word memories uh, possibility don't know i like the little sayings i think they're they're sort of neater on a project so i think it might be the darker color Sometimes you have to take chances. Well, that's appropriate for a coffee pot challenge where we've had to limit ourselves. Um, no, 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 this one. Sometimes you have to take chances. Oh, no, see, it doesn't fit. I'll have to go up here. Okay, here we go. I'm using Fabri-Tac because I think with the texture and the tissue paper and everything I just want to make sure it stays there right that's good and then we need to find something over here uh, which brings it together I've got this bit of blue here Yes, maybe some little treasured bits, little bits coming in. Maybe some stamps. Oh, how about a stamp? Perhaps I should have done a stamp. I think we're nearly there. I think we're getting there. I don't think we want that. Do we want a number? Number 19. Come in, number 19. I don't know. Trio of bits there. Oh, that's where that stamp went. Good, I'm pleased I found that. A little bit of lace for any reason. Nope. Mm. Nothing. A bit of lace. That's quite fine lace, isn't it? How about a little bit of lace down here? Don't always use lace. But maybe it just wants it. Maybe that works very nicely. Let's have a proper look. Well, I hope everybody's okay. Thank you very much for your comments recently. It's so so lovely to receive the odd one or two. Um, oh, that's quite nice, a little bit of lace. Hmm, I like that. I'm going to see if I can tack that bit down. Right, 
me do that. And see if I can just capture in that. It's just so fine, that lace, so it doesn't sort of seem to be too heavy. And um, I can sort of get it to come off the envelope slightly. That might be nicer, just to see that edge there. That's quite good, isn't it? And then we definitely still want to... Now, I've gone off the ticket now. Ticket is too heavy now. Maybe this, maybe this. Yeah, I don't know why, but... Uh, Just quite sweet. Just use the bit of glue that was squelching out the top there and put that there. This goes down here and I'm carpooling that done I think. Right, good. Okay. Oh no, oh, I've got this last bit here. Okay, so the coffee pot challenge was to use gesso. Yes, we did. We used a rubber stamp multiple times on various different things. We had quite fun over here. I've got a secondary card. I'm going to need to back that with something. Uh, maybe book page so round we'll make more of that or less of it or something but uh, I did that so that'll be another one we've got the black stamp down the edge there just for a bit of interest we did a bit at the background and you can't really see it because I gessoed over it but it is there and then the focal point uh, bird but the uh, the real star of the show was my wild card which was the gold um gilding paste and that is empire gold uh, gilding wax and there'll be a link for that uh, below so that's where you can get that from and we just make sure everything is stuck down and if we want to just age the edges now's the time to grab the ink and just Give a bit of an aged look to any edges. And otherwise, we've got just a wee bit of interest on the back, but it is ooh, it is all sorted with the gesso and it's ready to go straight into a journal. And we just grab this one because it's uh, to hand. I've got very few pages left here, but there is one there that this might go in. That was the coffee pot challenge from last week. That was the tag there. This is this week's altered envelope, and I can now add that in there. And that could even be hinged in and be a secret tuck spot. And then over the other side, um, I can decorate that and then there's a now that this came of the another coffee pot challenge the very first one and I can just put the whole lot on there with a pin and uh, maybe move it up and down have it where we want it but yes that is it quite sweet love that actually gosh that took me a while I did I did struggle there but I'm pleased that I went through that and uh, that's given um, a really interesting look I've used lace which I wouldn't have done I've used the gilding wax which I would never have mixed it with gesso not in a million years unless it presented itself <laughs> um, there we are an altered envelope using the three items and I hope you have fun with that and would like to have a go and I'd be so keen to see what you come up with if you'd like to tag me on Instagram at the treasured page I'd be I'd be thrilled to see what you do with either of these um, so this was a leaf and fabric and a eyelet and this was gesso 
and stamps and then paint, gold paint. Okay, so have fun with that and uh, obviously make up your own as well. And do tag me, let me know. I've had fun here, I've had fun with you and I love hearing all your comments and um, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So take care, slow down, make crafting time for you. Bye bye now.